So as an experienced breeder and yep. alpaca owner, um, can you tell us about some of the best ways for an alpaca owner to monitor the health and nutrition of their herd? Absolutely. So you need to, first of all, be hands-on. That is absolutely critical. So as you're going through and you're body scoring your herd, if you're weighing your herd, and you're looking at the individual groups within your herd, so you may have um, dams with creas at side, you know, juvenile groups, male groups, you may have your fiber group, they could be um, an older group of animals as well. So you need to manage each group specifically. One thing that's really cool with Missouri feeds that we're seeing is the um, opportunity across the different um, formulas to actually match up the right formula to the right group of alpaca. Um, so paying attention to the needs of each group is really important. You're going to do that by body scoring them. You're going to do that by physically looking at their fiber and looking how um, they are you know, growing out that fiber and the quality is within the fiber. Is it bright and healthy? Are you seeing it to its optimum degree? So tell us a little bit about your involvement in alpaca nutrition research. You've been working with, with researchers like us mm -hmm. for many, many years now. And so what are your thoughts about research and its role in the, in the industry? Yeah, I think it is so important that we take actual data and we take that data and really look at what we can do to move forward and improve on each um, alpaca and the health of each alpaca. It's been an absolute pleasure doing all this research and the incredible amount of work, you know, working with Dr. Evans and mm -hmm. yourself um, mm -hmm. and the team, you know, at Missouri as well. You know, we've been out doing, you know, many, many, um, you know, blood draws, skin biopsies over multiple generations and multiple years. So we've got a lot of data points that we, you know, are able to put together along with the other research that Missouri is also doing. What, we, what it gives us is the opportunity to really critically look at you know, how we are supporting these animals and not just having anecdotal, you know, this is how you feed them, because a lot of what we have done, you know, it has just been passed down. So this is now really giving us the opportunity to see those differences and to work through that very positively especially as we are asking these alpacas to produce more and more fiber we're getting much more critical on our selection in the traits and so we are wanting to see them to their optimum yeah and also i would imagine that the research is helping you know as breeders are doing the amazing job that they're doing mm -hmm. advancing the genetics of the animals making sure that we're keeping up with the appropriate nutrition to absolutely them. yeah and i think that is what is so important about all of this is you know we have a lot of um, data points that we have been collecting and each breeder is really doing an amazing job in selecting their genetics making their breeding choices actually looking at the hard data you know collecting histograms doing epds through our association um you know taking them to shows doing evaluations the surrey program has a ship evaluation program as well so there's many avenues there that each breeder has the opportunity to gather more data with that data in like looking at the genetics we need to make sure that we're supporting what is there genetically and getting these alpacas nutritionally fed and showing them to their optimum. Absolutely. Uh, research is critical and key to that. So it's been fantastic. All right. So finally, just from your experience, um, can you tell us what are your biggest takeaways uh, in terms of building a successful alpaca breeding program? Absolutely. I think number one is um, getting your hands on your alpacas. Um, you need to be um, you know, physically handling the alpacas to um, look at their overall health. So number one is the health of the alpaca, in my opinion, making sure they're supported nutritionally to have them at that optimum. Mm -hmm. But also as you're going through and looking at genetics and selecting your genetics, there are many, many avenues that you can research to collect that information. We have incredible breeders all across the country and all over the world that are breeding alpacas, great quality, great confirmation, and also supporting them really well nutritionally. So using those resources, doing your research, also as you are um, looking at um, alpacas, 
um, deciding within your herd what you um, want to develop out to. So having a goal um, being really, really important. But the number one thing to me is regardless of which road you're going down, whether you want seed stock show alpacas or whether you are looking purely at fiber alpacas and being a hand spinner and weaver and producing amazing um, end products, what you really want to be paying attention to is the overall health of your alpaca, which needs to be supported by nutrition.